Alright guys, um, real quick, just a quick review after we get our little water break. Um, we did our uh, slide buys, pull buys, and then also we've uh, used all those different finishes you guys have learned from a head outside single position. And we've uh, you know, gotten into that head outside single position a little bit different way with the high crotch step. You know, pull them into us and you have all those finishes, alright? So those like six finishes you learned yesterday, you just double them because we have a new way of getting in there, alright? So, I um, guess, I'll, guess I'll stick with the, kind of the thing we're going with and that, um, you know, the, the shots you guys have done before with the double legs and head outside singles. That's so funny. Am I that funny looking? Is it my receiving airline? No, I just thought. Alright. You're not supposed to look at my receiving airline. Alright. That's, uh, that's why I have a little facial hair so I don't look like I'm five. Um, Alright, so here we go. Uh, head outside single position. Um, remember before I keep uh, telling you guys that we've shot forward, okay? Forward penetration step. On your double legs, you're stepping, lowering your level, boom, you're shooting in there. Alright, going forward. I'm covering distance, going forward. With your double leg, forward. Head outside single, forward. With this stuff, with your slide buys and your pull buys right here, alright? I'm not really stepping forward much, but I'm pulling them into me this way, alright? Same thing with the high crotch step, okay? Instead of going into them, I lower my level, I pull them into me here, okay? And trust me, I'm not that smart, but one thing in wrestling that I figured out is, um, or my opponents have actually figured out is, I like to shoot a lot. I like to shoot head inside singles, double legs, uh, head outside singles. And a lot of my favorite shots are the ones going forward, okay? So shooting here, they're used to me going forward. If I'm shooting a head inside single, I'm here, they're used to me going forward. If I'm shooting a double leg, guess what they're used to me doing? Okay, so I don't have to actually shoot. Awesome. Going forward. So, what's the best thing? If he's used to me going forward, he's constantly like, down blocking me, getting his head low and his hips back. The perfect thing for me to do, if he's, if he's like used to going, or used to me going forward, just kind of bring your leg back a little bit, block me off. Alright, his head's down. What's the perfect thing for me to do now? Turn back on you. Heck yeah, I change directions, I go the exact opposite way. Alright, his weight's telling me to go that way anyway. He's used to me going this way. The best thing for me to do now is take him that way. Alright? I can do that in many different ways. Um, Coach Jordan's going to show you an awesome front headlock series. That's one way, okay? A lot of times, if you can set up my front headlock, I will purposely shoot into the guy to get his weight coming forward, okay? So I'll purposely shoot into him. I'll just stay back a little bit. I'll purposely shoot up into him, a little half shot right here, all right, to get his weight coming back this way. Boom. I'm there in a front headlock position, all right? So with these, you can set them up by, you know, taking some forward half shots or, you know, actually taking real shots. Maybe you miss, come back up, all right? Maybe I miss on my shot, my head outside single, or my head inside single right here. Maybe I miss, boom, all right? I come back up, get my double oval binds. He's pushing into me, lower my level, boom, in on my high crotch, right there. Or, say I, I shoot my head outside single forward right here. I miss this. Come back up, All right? He's coming into me, maybe car ties, boom, right there with my slide by. Okay? It's a little bit of a chest match too. All right? As you can see, I don't really have muscles, so have to uh, have to win somehow. All right? So I'm used to them always blocking me off going forward, so I got go the opposite way. That's where your slide bys come in, front headlocks, which you'll learn later. Your um, high crotch step, which you'll learn now. And now what we're gonna do is the butt slide. Okay? This is another, another thing. Um, some guys actually do like to go forward on this, okay? Maybe they'll slide a little bit more. You know, they'll lower their level, slide a little bit more to get down here, and then uh, get their takedown, okay? And a bunch of coaches will teach it different ways, all right? And everyone has different uh, body styles and all that good stuff. With my certain body style, and I think the way Coach Jordan likes to do it as well, we like to kind of, uh, you know, almost do a high crotch step where we're throwing the arm by hard, Bouncing our butt in a split second, basically the side of our butt, and attacking almost like a double leg, alright? So again, with this stuff again, double elbow binds, alright? Double elbow binds, squeeze down and in, make sure he's out of position a little bit, and from here, what I'm going to do is, with this butt slide is, I'm going to drop one arm. Boom. Drop in three point stance position, alright? Like you're playing football. You're probably laughing like, yeah, you never played football, you're like, two pounds, okay? But right here, three-point position, all right? Have the elbow right here, 
what we're going to do is almost the exact same as the high crotch step like we did before. All right, remember that? You guys got it? Yeah. Man, you guys like sleeping with your eyes open or what? <laughs> I think we need to have like a, you know, put some caffeine in the water or something. You guys are tired today. Man. All right, so, all right, double elbow binds. We drop down, all right? So it's almost like a high crotch. High crotch step, except for one thing. We're going to scissor step as we throw the arm by, all right? So, scissor step right here. Scissor step, throw the arm. Scissor step, throw the arm. All right, right here. Okay, I throw it. Boom! Right there. See my butt hit the mat for a split second, but guess what? It's off the mat. Okay, I don't really want to be on my butt. I'm not very strong there, okay? Once my butt's off the mat, I can transition and go after his legs, okay? So, here we go again. Double elbow binds, right here. All right, we're pulling down and in. Lower level, right here, three-point stance, okay? Scissor step, throw the arm by, right here. All right, we're throwing it hard again, just like the high crotch. All right, right there, all right? I throw it, my butt's getting it for a split second. Watch this arm, it's gonna help me come up off my butt, right here, okay? I'm not uh, good enough to, without my arm, <sighs> come up that quick. So this arm that I used as my uh, three-point stance arm, right here, it's going to help me push up off my butt, right here. All right, I use it to help push up. This leg is going to come in, right there. And now, it almost looks like I'm in that old, old double leg position, where I can take them over this way. So, double inside ties, or double elbow binds, excuse me, all right? Drop down, right here, scissor step, and throw the arm by. Boom, right there. This arm pushes us up. From right here, I'm going to switch my feet, all right? Right there. From there, grab his leg, attack with the other leg. We're just driving like a normal double leg. All right. Again, double elbow bind, right here. Drop down, throw, scissor step. Popped off my butt. Switch my feet, tack his legs, drive. All right? Sometimes, the, the guy may be coming in too hard. You might have drilled this a thousand times and you're super slick with it, okay? And you might not need to attack him with a double leg. You might be able to scoot around him, all right? That's fine, we can do that too. So we're right here. All right, double elbow bind, drop down, throw it by, scissor step, and since I, I did a good job of throwing him right here, he's on all fours, all I have to do is snake around him for my two points. All right? So, you guys need to see that again? Yeah. All right, here we go. Double elbow binds. All right, we're in here. No hand fight, wrestling. Boom, right there. Okay. Double, inside, double elbow binds right here. Hand drops down, right here, scissor step, I throw hard, see, really, boom, throw. All right, so I throw, he lands on all fours, I can either come up off my butt, switch my feet, tack his legs, or if I've done a good job and I throw him back this way, I can just stick around, get my two. All right, can you guys hit him pretty quick for us? All right. And when Coach Jordan yells, he's down the drill, we'll say, like, butt slides, three each man, hit him. Just like the high crotch step, we'll really throw the elbow by hard. Nice. All right, good, guys. One more thing, all right? Um, me, personally, I don't like to stay spread out. I like to stay compact. Um, you might have another coach that likes to slide more in there, like a baseball slide, okay? Um, I'm not a huge fan of that myself, okay? Just because I don't like to, you know, slide in. I don't like to be extended right here, okay? If I don't throw my bike good enough, I feel like I can get pancaked. I don't feel like I'm very quick at getting off, you know, my hips and everything. So um, the way I like to do it, and trust me, everyone's different, and if it works for you, and you're scoring all your points with, you know, sliding there like that, don't let me change how you're doing it, all right? That's, that's, that's awesome. Keep, keep doing it. But for me, I like to stay more compact, almost like my wrestling stance. So I'm on this arm, I can quickly you know, bounce, and spin, and get my, secure my takedown. Okay? Just a little food for thought with that. 
Can we do this? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's